Hello and welcome to another episode on Jewish Charlotte Mason. My name is Bethany Mandel. Today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the Jewish year and how to educate about the Parsha through the year and also all of our holidays, um, starting from sort of elementary, pre-elementary, all the way through high school. But before I get into that, I wanna say two things, several things. Number one, please subscribe because later episodes I'm gonna be talking to you a little bit about online Judaic options and offline Judaic options. Those are two separate episodes. Also going to bring you an episode on teaching Hebrew. Um, and today, this episode is really super duper inspired by this Jewish Year Curriculum Guy by Yehudis Litvak. She is one of the curriculum developers for Aniva Ami. It's the Jewish curriculum and um, it's the only one there is, and it's becoming much more robust by the day. So keep on checking in on that website. A lot of the book suggestions that I'm going to be offering you are from this book. Uh, I got it on Amazon. Every book that I'm mentioning today, I will link below on YouTube. So if you're watching this on Instagram, IGTV, be sure to head over to my Instagram because the links are there. And this is there also, and it's invaluable. It's thin but robust. So be sure to check this out. So I'm gonna start with my early elementary school. This is what we used. My first partial reading, you can see we still have the, <laughs> the bookmark in there. So we read through this, uh, I think it's a four volume set and um, the Parsha themselves are pretty short and they come with these illustrations and they're a great introductory introduction <laughs> to the Parshas but also to um, to some important words and so um, for example um, this one says Hashem commanded Avraham here is a mitzvah for you have a bris milah and so in red are sort of the, the key words that are important. So you're not just learning the Parsha, but you're also learning, um, you're also learning some key words. Um, here, bring Yitzach as a korban, and then you have a conversation about what is a korban. And the words that are highlighted come up throughout, and so by the end of the year, they don't just know the stories, but they also have some pretty good vocabulary. So this is number one, my first Parsha reader. It's super basic. I recommend it for five, six, maybe seven. So another great um, item for that age group, um, there's two separate books. One of, they're written by the same person. I prefer one of them more than the other. Um, this is the one I prefer. What's Jewish about butterflies? And then the second one, Jewish every day the complete handbook for early childhood teachers. So these books both have great ideas for preschool and for early elementary um, about teaching about Judaism related. To, so two things, Judaism as it relates to other things. So here's just one example. What's Jewish about farm animals? And so she has um, the big idea and then Jewish values with some key words and phrases, an Israel connection, Hebrew vocabulary, examples of songs and poems that you can sing with your kids. And you could go through this for, um, and then there's blessings and a song and a story. And then there's additional resources listed here. Um, there's tons of additional resources listed. So there's lots of, there's lots of stuff in this book. This could honestly be a preschool curriculum, maybe kindergarten, first grade, um, or you could do it together. If you have a first grader and a four-year-old, it would be a great option to sort of make your way through this as a full-on curriculum. So there's 36 lessons in here. So one a week, you're done. The other one, Jewish Every Day, um, is, more, um, is more related to um, holidays. So um, just trying to find a good. So for um, for this one, 
there's activities related to Sukkot. So here's Sukkot. And these are, these are good for the holidays. And so there's um, vocabulary listed. You can see that. And then um, examples of age appropriate ways to talk about the holiday. And so for a two year old, you can just say, Sukkot is my holiday and it's fun. But for a four or five year old, you can talk about how Jewish farmers used to live in a sukkah. I can decorate the sukkah. In Israel, people start de de building their Sukkot as soon as Yom Kippur is over. Um, and then there's some language arts and science and math and art and music and movement activities related to Sukkot. Um, and then she gets into Shemini Yatzera, and it's the same thing. And so if you go through here, um, you can go through the holidays, but you can also go through um, some different themes as well. So this is one on Pesach. And it's the same thing, um, the glossary and then um, age appropriate activities and conversations and then the language, the science, the math, um, art, music and movement, song listings, um, and then different songs and activities that you can do with the kids. So this is another great, you know, I mean, honestly, I think you could do this with a six year old also, um, but those are two great sort of curriculum development ideas. If you have a preschooler at home this year, those two books highly recommend. So moving a little bit into older years, the, I'm thinking now seven, eight, nine, ten ish Oh, you know, before I get into that, one other great for, I would say six, seven. Um, so this is around and around the Jewish year. And this is again a four volume set. And so this one is about Rosh Hashanah. So here's an activity to make Rosh Hashanah cards and Slichos, and then you get into the month of Tishrei. This is a good, I think six, seven, eight um, conversation starter. You can just read a little bit every week, depending on where you are in the calendar, um, six, seven, eight. Um, so now you're getting into like seven, eight, nine, ten. This is the book that I recommend for Parsha. My only caveat is there's only three released so far, and like, are they going to be released on time for the other one? I don't know. But the other two, I don't know. I hope so. Guys, get on it. Art scroll. We're counting on you. Um, but I have the first three, and they're beautifully done. And there's a lot of kind of. A little bit distracting but also fun stuff depending um stuff in the sidebars so fascinating facts questions and answers um this is um there's some good art in here uh, there's a lot of sort of blocks of different stories there's a lot here and um this is good for, I think, upper elementary. Other stuff for upper elementary. I'm thinking third, fourth, fifth grade. Um, two books uh, by the same woman, five books of Moses for young people. And um, it has some simple illustrations. And she has, downside is, she has it um, grouped not by Parsha, which is the weekly um, tour reading that we do every week, um, but by the stories themselves. And so there's a lot of like Genesis stuff in here that um, that there's a lot of, um, a lot of this is in the first Parshas. So you, this, is, this can't replace a Parsha curriculum in itself, but, um, but this can supplement or, I don't know, it can be other things. It can be whatever you want. That's the beauty of this um, here's another option for her from her. I just wanted to point out since I'm already talking about her, the prophets for young people. Um, and it's written and illustrated by Esther Casway. Um, and again, like cute, simple illustrations and, um, it's good. It's good. Um, the language is great. Um, and so she goes through Joshua, 
Kings, Jeremiah, 12 Prophets, Samuel, Kings. So, recommend. Uh, especially if your kids are having a hard time with the original stuff. Um, there's also kids, um, I should have grabbed it. Um, I'll link to it in the show notes. Um, there's kids versions of, um, my, I think it's like, I'm going to have to look it up. It'll be in the show notes, but there will be another resource down there. And I'll like mention like, this is the thing I forgot. Um, so that's for upper elementary slash middle school. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit. So one of my favorite things about homeschooling is I feel like there's so much that I had to read for my conversion that I think that kids should read and they're not made to and you can make your kids read whatever you want. So a couple things. This is definitely going to be the core of high school education for us. Rabbi Sachs, just like high school is just gonna be Rabbi Sachs, done. So this is his covenant and conversation. This is for the first book of the, um, of the Bible. And he has like these incredible essays for, he has four essays per, um, per Parsha. Make them read the first one, the whole for freshman year of high school. The second one's for sophomore year. The third one's for junior. And the fourth one's for senior year. Bada bing, bada boom. Have them read the Parsha, which I recommend um, this translation, the Living Torah. Again, a link to it, but it's by Rabbi Arya Kaplan. It, I mean, you can see, like, it's used. Um, but the translation, so it has Hebrew on the side and then English on the other side, and the translation is super accessible, and um, it's easier to read than like the art school blue chamash. So, done. You're welcome, that's high school. So other stuff, have them read everything by Rabbi Joseph Telushkin. This is obviously an old library book that I bought off of a books or thrift books or better world books. Um, but this is also a fantastic, maybe you have them read this in upper middle school. It's very good, I read it for my conversion. And then the last thing, also for my conversion, this beautiful box set, Book of Our Heritage by Rabbi Eliyahu Kitov. I'm trying to find the first one. Okay, so the Jewish year and the days of their significance. This is again, I think high school level, but have them just read through every, every week. And like for Rosh Hashanah, have them read all of the rules and all of the significance of Rosh Hashanah. People should know these things, I'm just saying. So those are my suggestions for books to teach Parsha and throughout the year, Jewish significance like holidays basically. In future episodes coming up, I'm going to talk about Judaic options online and then genetic options offline and Hebrew. And then I think that's gonna round out my, my Jewish homeschooling 101, except for a Q&A. If you have questions, please let me know. Email me, Twitter DM, it, like there's a million ways, bethanyshondark at gmail.com, Instagram, Twitter, whatever. You know how to get in touch with me. Um, there's a lot of people out there choosing their curriculums check out my channel. I go through the curriculums that I recommend, different options. Get on it, guys. It's the end of July. Get pumped. I'm super excited for our school year to start. We're starting in about a week, um, actually a week from today. So I might actually do another episode where I talk about how we're, how, what our first day is going to look like. And maybe I'll make a, a montage of our first day. I will have a kindergarten and a first grader. So thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, like the video, comment with some of your suggestions along these lines, and keep on tuning in. Thanks so much for watching.